Woodley is supposed to beat this kid. I, it would make people so happy to watch T. Wood knock this kid out or drag him into a point where the kid starts to fatigue and then you just kind of beat on him and break him. But if he doesn't take this mm. thing serious, this kid is going to find a way to win the fight and it will be the worst thing imaginable. Hats off to Jake Paul for fighting a guy like Tyron Woodley. Hats off to Showtime for saying, hey, we'll give you a deal, but you're going to fight real people. Showtime has a history with Tyron from Strike Force, right? So they know who Tyron Woodley is. Massive opportunity for T. Wood to make a bunch of money. It's a massive opportunity to really springboard all those other things, the rapping, the acting. He beats this kid. All that stuff goes to another level. So lock in T. Wood. Get ready to win. Be serious, be focused, and go get this victory. Nate Diaz is an absolute star. He's a guy that you buy the tickets for. And this morning when I watched the countdown, I watched the Diaz Edwards part first and then came back and watched the rest. Because that's what you do when there's a star on the card at the level of Nathan Diaz. Oh, forget star. I mean, I think there are very few superstars in this game. He is a superstar. Yes. Uh, he is must-see TV no matter who he's fighting, no matter where on the card. It's kind of crazy like, to even see the tail of the tape there. Like, I can't even believe this fight is happening in five days because it just kind of came out of nowhere and they weren't on the same trajectory. And it's also kind of amazing that Nathan Diaz is the only unranked guy on the main card and yet he actually could get a title shot if he wins this fight. That just speaks to how big of a star he is.